What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. We are gonna install some decals on a trailer. Today we're gonna use the Oracle 751 vinyl. Before we cut our vinyl, I'm gonna tell you the equipment and materials that you are gonna need for this kind of business. Of course, you're gonna need a computer. We got Asus laptop. You will also need a software to vector your images. We got CorelDRAW X6. And you're gonna need a vinyl cutter. We got the Graphtec CE6060. Or you can also use Cameo Cutter, Cricut, Titan, any kind of vinyl cutter will do. And this is our vinyl we're gonna use today. As I mentioned it before, high performance, 751. Tape, we got the Clear Choice AT75. You can get all the materials through the links that are gonna be in the description of this video. If you get anything to those links, you're gonna support our channel. Thank you so much. Okay, before we cut our vinyl, this is what you gotta do. Make sure you align the vinyl like this pull some of it to the front and you can use the lines as a reference point and go ahead and lock it send it to the front and we'll see what happens yeah i think we got it okay we're going to start from this corner here You can feel the difference. This one's a little thinner. That's the only difference of the vinyl. I'm um, talking about 651 versus 751. 751 is the one that we have here right now working on. Our design is gonna have three different colors. And as you can tell, this is the, the outline or the background. And then we'll layer red and green on top of the letters. Okay guys, we're ready to add our transfer tape on top of the vinyl, our R tape Clear Choice AT75, that's the one we're using right now. And this is the way we do it. Okay, we have our stickers ready. Now we need to go to the place and do the installation. All right guys, we made it to the place and uh, we're getting ready. We have the tool bag. Make sure you get all the accessories. You can get the magnets and the cutting knife, blue tape and all kinds of accessories. If you can get them, that'll make your life easier. We need to remove the little stickers that it has on the sides and we got some tools to do that. We got the weeder, we got some uh, goof off, the one we used to uh, uh, remove the adhesive. And we're just gonna show you how to do it, how easy it is. Uh, the stickers been sitting there for only a few months, so it's not gonna be that hard to remove them. Okay, we wanna start with uh, the one side. Okay, we got rid of this old sticker. Now it's time to apply the goof off. And really simple. The next step will be to apply some of the rapid tag to clean the surface. And just spray some of it and uh, dry it. And after that, we'll be ready to install our sticker. Okay, I think we have the sticker where we want it. Now the next step will be to try to remove part of the paper that holds the vinyl where the rivets are. It will make it a lot easier when you get to the installation. Okay, this is the way we're gonna do the installation. We put a huge tape in the middle of the sticker. We're gonna start from the center to the bottom and then we'll do the other parts. And we have the cutting knife. We need to remove the bottom part of the sticker and this is how we're going to do it we're going to do a dry application since we got the uh, rivets we don't want to use water remember in the end you're going to have some bubbles but they will be gone in no time okay and uh, this is how I'm going to remove this part of the paper again the reason we use this is to avoid damaging the surface 
of the vehicle. Okay, we have our vinyl that we are using today, which is the specially designed for rivets. We'll make it a lot easier to install it. That is it. Now we can start removing the all the tapes that we use to hold the sticker and finish the other part. And uh, I'm gonna show you why you need to remove the paper where possible, just like right here. We don't have any part of the sticker. And uh, once we get to the, once we squeegee, it's gonna make it a lot easier. And we're gonna need to improvise a little bit because I'm a little bit short. All right, this is how we're gonna do it. Do it evenly. Perfect. It's coming out perfect. I'm just gonna go for, for now. I'm just gonna go around the uh, rivet and then send all the tension out, just like this. And that's the reason we started from the center out. Perfect. And of course, again, we're gonna end up with a few bubbles, but we need to get rid of them in just a second. Now we can remove the transfer tape. Now I'm gonna use the squeegee and our waiter. I need to get rid of the bubble. And then I can use the squeegee to shape our rivet go like that perfect okay we got the first part now I'm gonna get rid. now I need to get ready for the second or the bottom part of the sticker and we got our they look like registration marks, but they are actually alignments because the vinyl is the same color. We cannot see where we place it on top of each other. Well, we, basically, we're gonna just align it. And yeah, just expose it. Okay, now let's get uh, our tapes. And uh, that's, that's what I meant. We need to align them. You go first. They're not going to be on top of each other, but they're going to be aligned just this way. Perfect. Then we got it in place. Now I can put the tape here. Okay, we changed the plan now, but this is how we're going to do it. Just going to put it here in the center. Just pretty much the same way we did the, uh, the top part. Except for we're doing the top now, primero. Yeah, we're going to do the top first and then just move our tapes down here again use the cutting knife to make it a lot easier okay okay now this is what I'm gonna do Uh, now what we're gonna do, we're just going to cut it into about three pieces. The reason we're gonna do it is because there's a rivet here. We cannot avoid it. Perfect. Okay guys, now we're gonna install the second layer on top of the letters, which is the red color. We're gonna use rapid tag for that. And uh, you can get it through the links. This is the reason we use it, to realign it, reposition it. Oops. 
Okay, perfect. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit. Now we're gonna do the, uh, re the green part and we're gonna use the same method. Just like that. Okay, I think it's ready to be removed. Okay, now we're gonna remove the registration marks and it's not really that hard to do. All you need a weeder, take one side and just peel it off. It's only been sitting there for a few minutes should come off right off perfect now we're just gonna install the other sides we'll be back in a minute to show you the end result okay guys we got to the end of the project and this is how it looks after we applied all the vinyls and let me take you around okay and this is the back of it we didn't touch these we only applied the decals on the right side and back here, we used all the same measurements as the other side. And basically, this is the end result. Thank you guys for watching. Give us a like, subscribe. If you want to support our channel, get your materials through our affiliate links. We really appreciate all your support. See you guys until the next time. Take care.